I'm asking, do you support Suella's Rwanda plan? Now, Home Secretary Suella Breverman has travelled to Rwanda to expand a deal between uh, on deportation of asylum seekers. Now, she's, she's hoping to get her plans into action by the summer, as the Rwandan government said that they're ready to take on thousands of migrants from this country. And this is, of course, is dependent on approval from the British courts, and you know how the legal system seems to get everything jammed up and people always end up coming off the planes. Well, the Home Secretary said that progress was being made. Progress is being made rapidly and I'm really confident on the back of the progress that I've seen here in Kigali that we will be able to operationalise this world leading agreement uh, very, very soon. The big point here is that there will be a package of high quality humanitarian support for people who will be relocated to Rwanda. That combined with our robust new laws will be uh, able to, will enable us to break the business model of the people smuggling gangs. Well, let's hope they also do what the Labour Party said they were going to do as well and have an international sort of crusade to stop this thing. Right, last year, though, the British government agreed to a £120 million deal with Rwanda to send thousands of migrants over 4,000 miles away. Uh, during her travels, Brevman also visited a home that is intended to house migrants and described the interior design as beautiful. It's got to be better than the hotel, surely. But critics are worried that the plans are costly and impractical. I think no more costly than the hotel. Uh, they've also voiced concerns that it could criminalise genuine refugees who have limited options to seek asylum in the UK without entering on small boats. So, for the great British debate this hour, I'm asking, do you support Swallow's Rwanda plan? Well, I'm joined in the studio by former Labour MP Stephen Pound and also international security and border control expert Henry Bolton. Henry, I'm going to start with you. Mm. Oh, sorry, he's right next to me. Sorry. I'm going to start with you, Henry. <laughs> well, I thought, you know, you never know. Henry, so talk to me then about this, this plan. Do, do you, in principle, agree with it and, and what are your thoughts on it? I, 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 I'm pleased that the government now seems to have found the political will to engage this problem with some determination. However, no, I don't think this plan is going to make any impact. I'm sorry, Suella Brabham, but you know, what you're doing here is you're making uh, the result of people smuggling uh, more difficult for the people who have been smuggled. It does not in any way and will not impact on the ability of organised criminals who market their services to migrants, economic migrants, across large swathes of the world. It's not going to stop them making money. They don't care what happens to most of these migrants once they arrive in the UK. They, 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 they've lost interest in them because they're not like, any longer getting any money from it. But... I think, you know, it, it is sending the right signal that the British government is starting to engage properly. There are some significant gaps, though. Uh, now, one, one of these is that there is no attempt to go after the organised criminals. We, we well, talk well, not about yet. French, I mean, they, they've but, talked about different things. But, but can, I, can I just bring in... I'm going to bring in um, Neil Hamilton, because he's also going to join us in a moment. Because I want to bring in Neil, because I think he may have a different point of view to you. Uh, Neil, Neil Hamilton... Um, that's not Neil. Yeah. That's Stephen Pound. He, Neil looks a lot off. older. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, you, you've lost all your hair, Neil. It's a trick of the light, I think. Yeah, well, it's a trick of the light. But Neil Hamilton, you, we, we can we can hear you. Um, so uh, talk to me then. What, what's your thought on this? Well, I think it's a good start. I don't think it's the complete answer to the problem. The complete answer, of course, would be to uh, pick them up in the boats, in the channel, and take them back to France. But France has, uh, has said no, that it's a European decision, and the European Commission has said it has no interest in doing that. So I'm afraid that the EU, which, through its open borders policy, has caused this problem in the first place, has no desire to play any part in a solution to the problem, even though it's as big a problem in France as it is in Britain. Uh, but I do think that the word will get around if we successfully do send people mm. to Rwanda, that uh, if you pay the people smugglers five or 10,000 quid, whatever they uh, charge, then you'll end up not in the UK, possibly, but in Rwanda. If that's what you want, great. But most of them don't want it. So I think that could well be a dagger at the heart of the people smugglers' business model. Stephen Bowen. It's, it's, it's cruel, it's expensive, it's unnecessary, and above all, it's a distress distraction from the real problem. We are simply not addressing the issue of uncontrolled migration to this country. Look, the Israelis tried this with, with Rwanda years ago.
ago. Mm. They sent 4,000 people out there. It lasted about 18 months. At the moment, Rwanda is fighting a proxy war with the Democratic Republic of Congo. It's a war zone. And it's all very well for Suella Bradman to go there and say, gosh, I do like your, your, uh, your wallpaper here. Who's your interior designer? And so this is an absolute nonsense. What we should be doing, everybody knows, they just don't dare say it. We should actually be interrogating people, examining them, working out the structures, having some sort of reception centre. As soon as you arrive in the UK, you can't drag them back to France. The French won't let you land the boats. Well, well Stephen, so, though, uh, Richard yeah. Sunak has come up with a, an idea with France that there'll be a processing centre uh, in France. I mean, that would be part of it. But this is part of a bigger picture. I'm going to come back to Henry in this day. It's part of a bigger picture, though. They've started, though. They've, surely they've started well. Richard Sunak with his plans and his deal with Macron. And then this uh, angle, there's just the other angle now tackling the people smugglers. Surely this is a good start. Yeah, it's a good start, as I say, in as much as it's, it's demonstrating, and I think it's demonstrating sincerely that there is an engagement of, of the government in trying to solve this problem. My point is that, my problem here is that there are many, many elements that need to be brought together in one overarching strategy, if you like, different lines of operation, and they need to operate concurrently. It is no good saying, well, you know, we've got a Rwanda plan, OK, and we've got an agreement with the EU, or we've got, we've got, we're giving the French some money. All standalone little issues. There needs to be an overarching framework on this, and that strategy is absolutely lacking. I've helped 14 countries to develop such things. The UK does not have it, and there is no attempt at the moment to create that overarching cross-government mm -hmm. unity of effort to achieve clear vision and goals in relation to this. Now, I mean, what, earlier on, Neil was talking about the European Union quite rightly, and, and he called it an open borders policy. Well, you know, one of the things that, that we've got a problem with is at the moment, in North Africa, there is a large build-up of migrants who are economic migrants in the main, who are heading to, or preparing to cross the Mediterranean, come the good weather in the summer, they are preparing to cross the, the the Mediterranean to the southern borders of the European Union. Now, a proportion of those people will end up trying to get to the UK. But, but we know so the that. numbers are going to well, increase. We know that. We and know this, that. But, yeah, but, but, but Rwanda and, and, and so on, and these, these mm. ideas that are being floated at the moment, are to deal with a here and now issue. The government's well, got well, to get well, ahead of the game. Well, as, well, as you know, governments very, very seldom think ahead of the game. Georgina Maloney made a, a very, very strong statement yesterday um, when she talked about the number of migrants that are landing in Lampedusa and in southern Italy. But look, it, 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 as regards global cooperation on a legislative basis, we should be working with Interpol and Europol. And obviously our presence outside the European Union doesn't help that. But look, the, 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 the real issue here, one of the things that he isn't addressing, Rishi Sunak, is the absolute total utter failure of the British Home Office. It is simply, it simply doesn't work. I spent 22 years work, trying to get some sense out of, out of them. We yeah. all spent years trying to get some sense out of those people. Neil, I'm have, counting on you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I could do that. We could all do a better job than them. Neil, final word to you. Stephen is a councillor to spare. I mean, there is no solution if we adopt his attitude. Uh, somebody at no, least is, is trying to do something with this. Processing centres. And, and you know, the problem lies in the, the fact that the European Union's borders are porous, and because of the Schengen Agreement inside the European Union, once you enter the toe of Italy, then you can get to the Channel ports, or you can get to Denmark and the Baltic Sea. Uh, and uh, Macron wants to repatriate people who've got come in through, to France through Italy. Italy, but the Italians are not accepting them back. That's the so-called Dublin Convention. We, we need to engage so with our neighbours to project beyond course, those EU course. borders okay. to disrupt the can, flow. Can I, can I just ask, okay, so finally, I'm going to ask you all a simple question, answer it very quickly. Uh, I'll start with you, Neil. Do you support Suella's plan, yes or no? Yes, of course I support it. I don't and think please, it's a complete answer, but it, it's a start. Okay, Stephen Pound. Do no. You support it? No. And Henry Bolton. I, I do, but I'd like to see it be a part of a, an overarching s framework and strategy. Wallison, thank you so much for joining me, Henry Bolton. Uh, and also um, well, Neil Hamilton and uh, Stephen Pound, thank you so much. Lovely to talk to you all. Thank you so much.